Are you freelancing but you're stuck at creating portfolio? Is it going to is it taking a lot of time? You're confused on how to start off if you have no experience. It's actually pretty difficult, right? If you're going to reach out to any clients, if the client is going to reach out to you, the first thing that they're going to ask is your portfolio, your experience, and if you have none of them, it's extremely difficult to convert the client. And I know it is really sad. You started out all motivated, but now you're demotivated because you don't know how to proceed without experience. In this video, I'm going to tell you seven brilliant ways to create a killer portfolio that is going to impress your clients and they're going to hire you. So stay with me till the end, guys. You're going to learn a lot. I'm Chavi Agarwal. I'm a full-time YouTuber, blogger, and an online business coach who has helped 100 plus students start, grow, and earn from their freelancing and blogging businesses. We create videos on working from home, freelancing, and making money online. And I know you're interested in, the, in these topics, so all you have to do is to click on the red icon below and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started. Creating a portfolio should not be a tedious process. It should be a process which you're going to be enjoying as an aspiring freelancer, as a freelancer who is going to earn lakhs and lakhs per month. And I'm going to give you seven ways which is going to ease this entire process, okay? So if you have no experience, don't worry. What you can do is to create a mock portfolio. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is to create a mock portfolio. Now, this is not um, applicable to all kinds of freelancing businesses, but if it is applicable to you, create a mock portfolio and move on to the next step. So for example, if you're a freelance writer, you can quickly create four to five content writing samples and that can serve as your portfolio. So what you're doing is taking a topic, writing on it, and those are your mock samples and using that as a portfolio, okay? If you're a social media manager, you can create graphics as your mock portfolio and create some bit of social media content that could serve as your portfolio if you are a graphics designer you can showcase your where variety of designs that you have created in your mock portfolio the mock portfolio is the easiest to start with and if this is applicable to you if you can create mock projects for yourself then start with that create your portfolio and start finding your clients because that is what is important progress over perfection okay so create your mock portfolio and move on to the next step and find your first client the second thing that you can do is to find beta clients so what are beta clients beta clients are basically people or business owners that you're going to work with in return for feedback and a testimonial so you get to work on a live project with a real possible potential client you get feedback on how you can improve and you get to showcase stuff on your portfolio. So beta clients is extremely easy to get. What you can do is to reach out to your friends, your family, your network, any businesses, any local businesses that are around you who need your service, offer a free trial for the first 15 days. And that is enough for you to provide your services and create something that you can showcase on your portfolio alongside the client's name. The feedback is also going to help you improve your services and the entire service period that is a 15 days is going to help you build up your portfolio quickly. The second way of uh, finding beta clients is to ask for it on Facebook groups. There are tons of amazing Facebook groups where a lot of business owners hang out. There are a lot of business owners who are just starting out. They are growing their businesses and they would love to have free help. Um, for 15 to 20 days so if you can capture that if you can get in touch with those guys those business owners they would love to hire you for 15 to 20 days and give you a testimonial and a lot of projects to put on your portfolio now the super amazing thing about beta clients is they can convert into actual clients as well so one of my students that is Deepika from the profit plan she worked with her beta client for 15 days provided her social media management services and post 15 days, the client was happy with her work. She realized, you know, how much help she could use. And she, and she finally hired her on a retainer basis. So you see, it's very, it's amazing to have beta clients. And I always advise my students to get beta clients first because 
not only do you get experience testimonials and something to create something to put your uh, something to put in your portfolio but you are also in touch with a potential client okay so the third way of creating a portfolio is to learn some basic tools so if you are starting out as a virtual assistant you don't need a portfolio what you need is a sexy resume okay now what do you put in a resume you put your usp so what you do for whom you do and what kind of results you can drive in a sentence or two and uh, then you start uh, elaborating on what kind of tools and skills you have so everything that you know so your skill base which could be um, content writing copywriting seo basics of graphics designing etc etc and then learn tools that are most popular so um, if you're going to be a virtual assistant for example you can learn canva canva is an extremely simple graphics designing tool and you can add that to your resume you can look into asana trello clickup basic email marketing services like mailerlite mailchimp you can create uh, accounts on these you can learn how these tools work on youtube or on their website itself just the basics of it you need to know how they look and how you could um, do the basic things like creating an email and sending out an email and all of that on these tools so learn the top 5 to 10 most popular tools the basics of the most popular tools and add that to your resume okay this is applicable only if you're going to be a general virtual assistant and this works the fourth thing that you can do to create a portfolio if you have no experience is to find an internship for yourself so uh, find something which is there for a month or two wherein you get to work on a lot of projects so if you are a content writer you get to uh, write on um, so you get to write blogs and content for real life clients if you are a graphic designer you can get an internship where you get to design a variety of things if you are a social media manager you do that whatever is your service find a internship which can give you a lot of experience on the skills that you are providing as a freelancer now the one place which i love to find internships on is internshala.com they are legit most of the jobs most of the internships that they have put up are great they provide a lot of exposure sometimes they also pay money which is great but even if it is for free you can do that for a month or two polish your skills learn have that confidence to provide that as a freelancer on your own create your portfolio and move on so that's the fourth way of creating your portfolio if you have no experience you also get experience with an internship the fifth way is to volunteer your skills for an ngo now if there is an ngo which could use your skills and trust me most of your skills can be used by an ngo so whether it's content writing copywriting graphics designing social media management they can really utilize your skills and if you're going to reach out to an ngo and offer them your services for free they're never going to say no because obviously they need help on a lot of fronts right so pick out any ngo which is nearby you can also visit them if you like or you can call them or you can email them i would recommend that you call them or visit them because it's going to be much faster and offer your services for free so you are going to get um work experience confidence feedback testimonial and there you go you can create your portfolio the next way to create your portfolio is to get on this website called catch a fire this is an online platform where you can volunteer your skills to organizations worldwide okay so just sign up for that the link will be there in the description box below so click on that link sign up for uh, volunteering your skills start working with these worldwide organizations and get your confidence get your Uh, experience and get things to put on your portfolio as well the next one which is also going to be oh my god why i didn't think of this moment for you is going to be working with a fellow freelancer so if you know any virtual assistant or any fellow f- freelancer who is doing anything try and see if you can offer them your services so for example if you were a social media manager and you know somebody who is doing content writing so you reach out to them tell them hey I can handle your uh, Instagram for 15 days. I am doing it for free because I want to, uh, you know, build my portfolio, get some confidence, get some feedback on my skills, and then start looking for clients. Would you be interested in that? I'm pretty sure they would love to do that because um, a lot of freelancers who just start out don't have the budget, the time, or the experience to outsource things. So if you're there, going to help them with something, 
they're going to definitely agree and it's going to help them as well so if you're a social media manager you can reach out to any other uh, freelancer that you know and offer them your social media skills if you're a content writer if you're doing if you're good at content you can also reach out to any social media manager or content writer or copywriter website developer anybody who can use any kind of content you can reach out to them and you can work with them right and that thereby get experience confidence and stuff to put on your portfolio so these are the very these are very simple seven ways you can create a brilliant and a killer portfolio for yourself even if you have zero experience so let me just recap so that you know exactly what you can do the first thing is to create a mock portfolio so come up with a mock project for yourself and create a portfolio for yourself the second one is to get beta clients the third one is to learn basic tools like canva mailerlite and all of that depending on what services you are providing and learn those learn the basics and create a resume for yourself this is applicable only if you are going to be a virtual assistant The fourth one is to get an internship for yourself. The fifth one is to reach out to NGOs nearby you, and the uh, fifth or uh, sixth one is going to be uh, checking out Catch a Fire and volunteer volunteer your skills to worldwide organizations. And the last one is to reach out to a fellow freelancer or a fellow friend. So let's say that if you were in um, some kind of course or some kind of community. you know you can go there and offer your services as well so for example if you are a part of the profit plan you can go to a facebook group or reach out to people on the thursday call and ask them to trade services with you so that they can help you create a portfolio my students are free to do that you know that's a community that supports each other so if you are in such a community you can use that as well to get in touch with a fellow fellow freelancer okay so these are the seven quick ways and brilliant ways i hope this video helped you out and now you can get on to creating your portfolio and moving on to the next step of finding a client and getting paid for your project you can see two more videos on the screen on how to start freelancing and how to start virtual assistant go check them out and if you like this video if you learn from this video don't forget to like the video share it with your friends and family click on the red icon and subscribe to my channel guys and i'll see you next week bye bye